Hello, friends. It's Chris Angel coming at you, and this is Marketing for the Rest of Us. This show is called Marketing for the Rest of Us, and I uh, created it. I decided to create this show because I, I felt like uh, those of us who are people-oriented people, not technical-oriented people, um, can feel left behind in this day and age of digital marketing, right? In the day and age of technological marketing, those of us who have people skills, not technical skills, can feel left behind. But listen, you don't have to be left behind. In fact, I think it's our human connectedness that gives us an advantage, right? And that's what this show is dedicated to. So I want to throw a scenario at you. Um, if you've watched the show or listened to the show for a while, you know that <clears throat> as of lately, I've been running Facebook ads. And one of the things that caught me the other day was that, well, one of, one of the observations I had was that people were um, it was the funniest thing because people were hating on my vulnerable posts. I was saying like, I think we need more vulnerability in marketing and people thought that was stupid or a crock or a sham or whatever, right? Which is like, so funny here I am trying to be the very change in the world that I want to see in the space of marketing and people are saying that that is a scam and a sham. These are the very people who are frustrated with marketing and I'm trying to be the opposite of what marketing has been for them and they're the very ones who are cynical, skeptical and spitting in my face. And in that and in that I had this thought like you know what what would I have said if I had uh Years ago when I got married, if it was like, listen, if we're going to get in fights, let's just not get married, right? Or, hey, listen, if we're going to, if we're going to have kids and they're going to be a hassle, let's just not have kids. And I thought, what a weird, what a weird thought. Like I never, I never had that expectation going into marriage, like that I'm going to get married and never have a fight or that I'm going to have kids and they're not going to be a hassle. Like you go into marriage and parenting just thinking like, okay, stuff's going to happen and we're going to deal with it. When it comes, why? Because I love you. Because I'm in this for the relationship. I'm not in this for, I'm not in this for a, a, a date, a one night stand. I'm not in this for the the jollies I get from having kids. I'm in this for, I'm in this for the long haul. I'm in it because I want to be in it. And when you enter into relationship with that as the context, you have the fortitude to hold your ground when things get tough. And yet, in marketing, in business, it doesn't happen like that most of the time. I don't know why that is. Like with, with, with business, it's, in your marriage, in your parenting, it's not that way. You hold your ground. You have fortitude. But as soon as it comes to business and marketing, it's different for you. It was for me. Don't tell me it's not. I, was, I have fortitude with, with my, my marriage and my kids. Awesome, solid, good to go. I'm in it for the long haul. Not so with business and marketing. Like I kept squirreling my way around. So what was going on there? Well, what I noticed uh, about myself was I kept looking for quick fixes. I was frustrated and disappointed that things took longer than I wanted them to. I didn't come into marketing with any sort of love relationship. I wasn't coming into marketing to say, I love marketing and I want to connect with my people. I came into marketing like I want to make a sale. And when the sale didn't happen, my expectations weren't met, then I was dissatisfied. And when I was dissatisfied, because I wasn't in it for the love of the connection, I was in it for a particular result, I was out. This is what happens, right? When you're in it for a particular result, you're out. If you don't get that result, you're like, I'm out. But that, isn't that interesting, right? Like you can look, so go look at at marriage. If you're in if you're in marriage for a particular result, you're going to be upset all the time. If you get into parenting, if you decide to have kids, and you're in it for a particular result, you're going to be unsatisfied and disappointed. That's not why we get into parenting and marriage, is it? And yet, in business and in marketing, that's how typically we get into it. We're like, okay, I'm gonna get into I'm gonna get into business. Here we go. Let's go into business. Okay, now let's make some money. What? No money? Oh, that's crap. Let me go try something else. Okay. Oh, I need to do marketing. Great, I'll do marketing. Maybe marketing will give me the result. Okay, I'm in marketing. Where's my result? Oh, no result. That's crap. Let me go find something else. And so we're, there's no fortitude. Do you see there's no fortitude in your business and your marketing? 
if you come into it with the expectation of a result, not a relationship. And this is where 90% of people are messing up royally in their marketing is they're coming in expecting a result and not committed to a relationship. And so when things get tough, they abandon ship. They're out. The problem with that strategy is that you don't build any long lasting relationship with any sort of tribe or following or audience. And so people never actually really get to know you because you don't ever stick around for people to get to know you. You keep trying the flavor of the day when it comes to marketing. When you're missing is that it's a relationship. And how do you build relationship? Well, you in marketing have a particular conversation you want to lead in the world, not a particular product or service you want to sell, but a conversation you want to lead with people. Not something you want to sell to people, That's marketing to them and at them. We want to market with them and for them because that is what builds relationship. We're not trying to get something from people. We're trying to add something to people. This is what is wrong with marketing today. Too many people are trying to get something from people rather than trying to add something to people. And when that's your intention, Coming into marketing, you have no fortitude and you won't withstand any sort of ups and downs. And so you will abandon ship when things get tough. In other parts of your life, you don't do that because you're clear on the distinction of a relationship. But somehow that missed the point getting into marketing. And you thought marketing was about selling something or a transaction. And when it didn't work, you bailed. Bailed on the relationship with the people you're trying to serve. When things got tough and you ran a Facebook ad or you, ran, you did four months of, of blog posts and nobody responded and things got tough and it wasn't going the way you wanted, you bailed. You abandoned ship because it wasn't going the way you wanted to. So sad. And this is most people's relationship to marketing. Up, oh, did I tried it? I tried that for a month. Yeah, I tried that for a month. Didn't work. Yeah, I tried marriage for a month. Didn't work. Yeah, I tried parenting for a month. Didn't work. See, we don't do that in marriage and parenting. But we do that in marketing all the time. Oh yeah, I tried that for a month. That didn't work. Right? Can you see that your intention, the entire context of how you're relating to marketing, is what has that not work? Marketing is a relationship. I will say it over and over and over again for the rest of my life that marketing is a relationship. And you come into the relationship with the intention of serving and adding value. Just like in marriage, just like in parenting. And when it doesn't go your way, it doesn't mean you bail. It means you keep trying to find new ways to add value so that people can trust you, hear you, feel like you're for them. So you just, you don't give up on that. And and one of the biggest challenges for you can be if you don't know, if you don't have that context, then you still need to find, you still need to find the message you want to lead in the world. Because if you don't know what message you want to lead in the world, then all you're left with, the default is, well, I have this product and service. Do you want to buy it? No? Great. Screw you. I'm out. But if you could think about like, okay, well, what change do you really want to see in the world? Not what product do you want to sell? How do you want to help the world? How do you want to serve the world? What's next for you? You've already been down the road of trying to sell a bunch of stuff. Now my question for you is what do you want to serve? How do you want to serve the world? For the rest of your life, what could you see yourself doing to make the world better? That is where you need to start to look for your marketing message, how you create connection with people. Because it not only breathes life into you, but it breathes life into those you're seeking to have a relationship with. And then when things go sideways in marketing or you're not getting the results you wanted right away, it doesn't matter because you're in it for the relationship. You're in it for the, the intention, not the transaction. So, if you're wanting help on this particular uh, conversation, how do, you, how do you find the conversation that you want to lead in the world for the rest of your life? So that 
you can hold your ground with fortitude when things get tough so that you can serve people and they can actually get to know the real you. So you can have authentic marketing and people can feel like when they buy from you, they know what they're getting with you because they have relationship with you from your marketing. Okay, if that's what you want and you haven't found that yet, I built a free course for you, right? It's not just over 90 minutes. It's five videos. You can get it at groundswellmethod.com. And that is a an appetizer for a six-week intensive program where we actually go into depth on how to begin to create this kind of marketing in the world, marketing that actually leaves the world better than we found it. If that's interesting to you, you can go to groundswellmethod.com. And uh, that concludes this episode of Marketing for the Rest of Us. Until tomorrow, have a great night.